the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. Amen. I pray that you have been blessed today. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will. See, you've got to choose. I will. Whether anybody else does or not. Whether the day's going good or bad. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise. Amen. Amen. Then his praise shall continually be in my eyes. Look at your neighbor and say, just go ahead and praise him. Get out of the Lord. Now that was just, that was what you call short and sweet. I mean, just, yeah. But do you understand what the word is telling us? This is the day. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the bumps and the bruises, regardless of every situation, David said, I will. You have to make it personal. You can't wait for somebody else to pat you on the back, jerk you up, and tie a knot in you or jerk a knot in you to get you to praise God. You gotta choose. Look at your neighbor and say, You gotta choose. That I will I will bless the Lord at all times. Not just when we're on the mountain, not just when he answers a prayer, but at all times. Do you know that you control how your day's gonna go tomorrow? Amen. That's right. Amen. Wanna know what controls it? Your mouth. Yeah, that's right. You know how we are? Well, I dread tomorrow. <laughs> or tomorrow, you know, uh, well, you don't you don't put a curse on yourself. You don't prophesy tomorrow's gonna be this or that, but <clears throat> this is the day. Here's what the word says. Don't take no thought for tomorrow. That's right, right. What part of that don't we understand? Find that scripture. Tyler, where is it? Matthew chapter 6. Somewhere in there. I'm going to build me a computer that is lightning fast. <laughs> <laughs> and in six days it'll be out. Yeah, absolutely. No, not mine. <laughs> Matthew, 6, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on is not the life more than meat in the body than rain. Yes. Go to the next word. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father, <laughs> if God's going to take care of you, want, look at just go over here to these big WAPO feet and the other one across the railroad track. Daily, there's feed spilling out. Guess what happens? That same bird that eat there yesterday comes back and eats its fill it doesn't carry and pile up a bunch in its nest or its roosting place, wherever it goes, but it comes back. So. If our heavenly Father feedeth them, read that last part, yo. Are you not on my I rest my case. Are you not? Are you not much better than they? Question he asked. Amen? Go to the next one. Which of you taking thought can add one cubit 
unto his step. Amen? Go to the next one. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toll not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, all oh, his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Everybody read that. You ever got a spanking by the Lord? I mean, probably a year, two years after I was saved, I'm, I'm praying and I'm, I'm, I guess, really what I'm praying, James, I was fine. And the Lord carried me to these scriptures and, and all I could hear, oh, ye of little faith. Who, me? Lord, Lord, I've got faith. Well, why are you whining? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Life is life, but life with Christ is eternal life, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen, church, we have problems. We'll have problems until the Lord comes. Yeah. But after He comes, glory, hallelujah. But until, hallelujah, look at your neighbor, say, but until he comes, I'm going to rejoice. I may be going through it. I may be in fire, but he's in there with me. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I may be in a storm, but he's able to step up and say, peace be still. And all of a sudden, everything's calm. You ever understand? You, sometimes we just don't understand how when people can be really going through a major storm, a category five. No, let's just put it at a ten. Because sometimes in life, we're going through a cat ten. But there can be peace. They say right in the middle of a hurricane is calm, cool, and collected. But on the outside, you see, in our storm, that's where God can put us. It's right in the middle of it where everything around you may be just swirling. Come on, somebody. Have you ever had the devil just try to get you in a tizzy and a spin to get you just out of it? Can I get an amen? amen. That's the reason you have to decide. I will. I will. I'll be responsible for my praise. I won't wait for somebody else to do it. I'll give God the praise that He's due and the honor that He is due. Why? Because I know that He's able at any level. Sometimes out of a high. And He's able, oh, somebody shout. He's able right now to say, peace, be still, and everybody and everything just calm. That may be the way you are right now. You're in a cat tent, but let me tell you, in the center. Yes. See, you got to get in that center. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Yes. Somebody ought to have jumped up and run around. Somebody should have just just turned around. Come on, get in there. I'm gonna start bringing me a, a shawl a dog and my big old sombrero. Go to Psalms 91. Let's just go there. Well, wait. Let's go to... Let's read Matthew 32 and 33. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly Father knoweth, knoweth yes, he yeah. that you have need. Yeah. Yes. Yep. We have need of food and the clothing and raiment, all of this stuff. But 
Our greatest need is staying spiritual. Staying spiritually sane. Because Satan can get you in a tizzy that you you just feel like, and I've heard Christians say, I just feel like I'm losing my mind. Don't ever say that. Amen. Because that's where Satan plays. He plays on your mind. That's right. You may be going through hell right now. But in the middle of a storm. Here's the Lord carried me to this years ago. He said, oh, ye a little faith. And then he brought me here. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yeah. The Lord already knows you're hurting. He already knows the pain. He already knows the situation. He already knows all the problems. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And His righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Yes. Added, Deborah. Added, Sidney. Mm -hmm. Added unto you. How many believes that scripture? Amen. Do you understand if we follow that example right there that Christ gave us, we may go through battles but I'm here to tell you, the Bible tells us in Ezekiel and in Isaiah and in Matthew and in Luke and in Revelations that Satan is already defeated. Amen. Ezekiel and Isaiah tells us that he was defeated before the cross. Amen. Hello? What did Jesus say in Luke? Where was it? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 18. He said, Behold, I saw Satan fall like a lightning. <coughs> Can I get an amen? amen? The Bible says, Who art thou, O thou Lucifer? Uh -huh. See, he was named Lucifer. The most beautiful angel in cherub. The Bible tells us he was a cherub. He set apart. He was in charge of the worship. And you want to know why he doesn't want you to worship? Yeah. Dennis is because he knows what, when you start to worship, what happens. The glory of God begins to come. And Satan knows Lucifer. Oh man, serpent, whatever you want to call him. He knows that he can try to worship him, but he's not anointed anymore. He lost his anointing. He lost his beauty. Want to know why he lost his beauty and his anointing and his place in heaven? Pride. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no wonder the wisest man wrote Proverbs. What is it? What, what's that scripture? Pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. So if we seek those, <coughs> God help us. Would you just say, Lord, forgive me? Lord, if I have failed to seek you in your righteousness. There it is. Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty. Oh. I, I just dislike haughty spirits, don't you? And a haughty spirit before fall. Let, let's go to Psalms 91. <clears throat> Start with verse 1. Somebody, something just happened to somebody right there. 
and a deceit. Ha! Ah, thank you, Lord. Somebody's, somebody's crossing the river. I just see it. You're crossing the river. This is spiritually speaking. You're crossing the river and you're deciding, wondering, should I go across or what should I do? What if it gets deep? Then swim in it. God's about to take you across. God is about to take you across because on this side, has been problems. But then when God gets you out, and God leads you to the waters to swim in. Let me tell you, God's going to heal you before your foot hits the other side of the river. I'm talking spiritually now. Don't be stupid and go down to Kissimmee River and say, Well, Lord, the preacher said you'd take me by the middle. Let me tell you, you get out the middle, here comes chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> Spiritually, God, oh God, I, I wish it's like a movie picture that I can see right here. And see, y'all want me to tell you who it is. All I can see is the silhouette of somebody that God is about to take across. Here, here's, here's what I would do this if I heard a man of God tell me that, I'd claim it for me. Amen. Even if I didn't feel nothing churning down, hey, I, hey, say God, how I said. If I didn't, even if I didn't feel it inside churning, I would just begin to say, Lord, I claim that. I claim it because I'm seeking you and your righteousness, your kingdom. Can I get an amen? Why? Because in his kingdom, there's perfect harmony and there's perfect peace and there's perfect healing. Can I get an amen? Will somebody just praise him? Somebody just praise him? I will. I will. I will. I will. There you are. I can't get away from this. God, God is trying to get it right through you. God's got it trying to get it right to you. I, I just see it. You, you stepped out. It's like Ezekiel. You're ankle deep. And there's people clamor, clamor. Let me tell you, people will stop you and hinder you from being blessed by God. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Pride, yeah. jealousy. Yeah. There go. Oh, I just seen somebody go out. Just seen them go out knee deep. There they are, and they're looking around. And let me tell you, when you get knee deep, there's more people trying to stop you. Why? Because if you go any deeper, if you go any deeper, then people are they're going to have to be required to do the same thing, or they're going to withdraw from you and never be around you. Let me tell you, I don't need that kind of people around me. I need people of faith, people that says, come on, I'll go with you. I'll walk out there with you. It's either sink or swim. Can I get an amen? But it said just swim in waters that will heal you. Oh, I just see them. I see them right now. They're out waist deep. See, problem with waist deep is you're still on the bottom. You're still on ground. You still control which way you go. You see, when you get waist deep, there's always those people did you know do you understand satan uses people yes. whether they are christian or whether they're not that's right. Amen. That's, right. Amen. that's right huh and i found out that people say they're christian have been my worst enemies mm -hmm. yes. i can't hear nobody now y'all get quiet see y'all pull back well, let's go back to the bank. That would be your worst nightmare if you get out waist deep and you go back. 
If you allow somebody to, to taunt you, somebody to say, well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Have you ever told somebody, Robert, well, the Lord told me to do this and this. Well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, you might not. Yeah. Because it's not you. Right. right. But if it's God, yeah. You can't fight against what God wants. That's right. Amen. Right. 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 Because if God be for you, yeah. woo! Somebody shout! I'm about to move. Walk right now. Yeah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I'm serious when I say that. Come on, somebody. Yes. Why? Because if God be for you, yes. If God, sixty-six books is for me. Who can be against me? Who can separate me from the love of God? Neither death, nor height, nor principalities, nor powers of darkness, nor death, nor angels, can I get an amen, can separate me from the love of God, the will of God for my life. If I allow God to lead me in His will, then I don't care what you say. Well, you know, better do what they tell you. Well, if it's not God, it'll come to naught. That's right. That's right. But if it is God, Amen. That's, that's that part that I refuse not to try anyway. Because if it's God, the God of the kingdom of God, the God that we're seeking Him and His righteousness. That God. Somebody just touch your neighbor and say, you might need to slide over a little bit because I feel that God. That Elohim, that El Shaddai, that Jehovah Jireh, that Jehovah Rapha that is about to heal me and to bring provision into my life. You may need to give me a little more room, Sidney. You may need to move toward the back because I feel that God is about to show up. And let me tell you, He's here right now, ready to show up in our lives. See, so you have to take the responsibility to praise Him. Yes, amen. Yes. Yes. Go to Psalms 91. I, I just I can't get away from that picture that, that I, I just see in, in the spiritual vision. And there you are. There you are. You're looking back and people said, don't go out too deep. Growing up, my mama wouldn't let us go to the river. I mean, we live right on the Tennessee River. Now, we could go to the creek because the creek's only knee deep. Now, you see me and Tommy jumping off Swagger Shark Bridge down into water like that? Huh? It hurts. But if we, if we did get to go to the river, now don't y'all get out too deep. She couldn't swim, so she didn't want to see it out there. I think he don't know what he's saying. She probably did. He said she did. And probably drove me right behind <laughs> Now don't y'all get out too deep. Yeah. Hello? There's no sharks, alligators up here, Mom. And you see, that's why the people around me. Now, Sidney, come on. Just come on, come on. Now, Sidney, you, you're getting out there a little, a little too deep now. You, you need to get back, and then the devil's going to say, you, you know that ain't going to happen. The thing is, the devil's trying to talk you out of what he knows is about to happen. That's because right. he knows right. when you take responsibility and say, I will, I'll praise him. I may be going through a rough time, but I'm I'm waist deep. I think I can get a little bit further. I think I can. I wish I had somebody to stand and say, I think I can get a little bit further. I can, I can do what Paul says. I can do all things. I can, I can get out into water and swim in. I can get out there. Why? Because God said I could. I'm 
need every person. I want you to listen close. I want every person that feels like that's me. I need to get out there. Because there's too much clamor where I'm at. To get out in the waters to swim. And the only way is for you to get up and get out of your seat, go to another seat, go to the back, go to the front, get on the stage, sit down, I don't care, sit on the altar, but you need, you need to tell yourself, I will. I will. Amen. Amen. Just look at your neighbor and say, now don't talk, try to talk me out of it. Don't try to talk me out of it, Dennis, because I feel the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I feel the God that told Abraham to go up on the mountain. And I want you to carry no, no sacrifice. Don't want you to carry a lamb. You can carry the wood. You can carry stuff to build an altar. But take nobody but you and Isaac. Why? Isaac is the promised seed. But God wasn't after Isaac. He was after Abraham. Because Abraham. That's right. They get up there. All the servants wondered, have we done something wrong? He didn't let us go up there. We're used to going and seeing God show up yeah. when Abraham goes on the mountain and builds an altar and offers a sacrifice. And Isaac, maybe 13, 17 years old, he's at the inquisitive period in his life. Daddy, we got the wood. We got the stuff to make an altar. But where's the lamb? That's okay, son. We're, we're, we're still going. Can I get an amen? amen? Are you still moving? Yeah. Are you still going to waters to swim in? Oh, yeah. Come on. You know how it was. Y'all been to the beach. Don't act like you ain't never been to the beach. You get out where the waves, they come up. But you know you can come back down and touch your tiptoes. Yep. And I got some people out there, you're touching your tiptoes. But, and here's all these people clamoring. God, I rebuke the clamor yeah, that's in yes, your life yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, I command it to stop now. Yes, 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 and here's what... Abraham builds the altar. He pulls out his knife. Who's got a knife? You got a knife, Sidney? No. Jacob's got one. Oh, here's a big one. You push the button. That's like, you cut them with that. They're going to know they've been ripped. <laughs> Abraham lays eyes. <coughs> what would you be doing between 13, 17 years old and your daddy laid you on the altar that he knows that he always slayed the lamb? Mm -hmm. There lays the only seed of promise. God wasn't after Isaac. He was after all of Abraham. Abraham had listened to him in, his, in Genesis 12 and 1. Abram, get thee up and out of thy country and from thy kindred. He had done all these things. He made mistakes along the way, but he's come to the place that now is either God seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness to see all of these things added unto us and let me put it this way y'all you've said it at the railroad track waiting on railroad cars to go by I mean some of them box cars are full of stuff I wonder how many box cars we've lost Spiritually. Mm -hmm. 
because we wouldn't pull out the knife. There's things that need to be ties that's got to be cut. Soulish ties. Right. There's soulless ties that you don't need to be tied to. And then, when Abraham's ready to raise mm -hmm. the knife and to cut the throat of his promised seed, the angel of the Lord says, Abraham! Yes. I wonder, Charlie, how many angels we haven't recognized that come to bring us a blessing. Amen. Mm -hmm. There we go. I wonder how many angels that has come in this building unaware, how many angels that we've met up with unaware. And when he did, Abraham, Abraham, and he says, here am I. Mm -hmm. And when he looks around, he realizes he don't need the right. knife. Mm -hmm. That's right. And what he sees, he lays it down. And he sees the ram, yes. Jehovah, Jireh. Is that the one that means provision, my provider? Yes. I wonder how many ate. Oh, God. Mm. I wonder how many angels charted yeah. that hollered, Charlie! Right. How many did holler Dennis? How many did holler Mike? Yes. And we missed our provider. Amen. Jehovah. Amen. I'm not talking about just Jehovah. I'm talking about Jehovah yes. that feels the whole earth. Yes. Who is the creator of all things. Jehovah Chara, yes. Yes. my provider. Yes. Yes. There he sees mm -hmm. a ram hung up in the bushes. And I've heard people say, preachers preach, well, he'd been hung up. No, if he had of Abraham would have seen him before then. He didn't see. The ram did not. Who brought that? Oh, Lord Jesus. Who brought it? Other than the angel put him there and called out to Abraham, do thy son no harm. And he turns around and Abraham sees the ram, the gift that the angel has brought. How many times have we missed the gift? How many times, Dennis, have we missed the provider? Amen. Colt! How many times? Come here, run, run, hurry. Come here, James. I just, I didn't, yeah. 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 Somebody pray for me. You, you have to be responsible. It's good to have spiritual help, spiritual prayer partners. But they're not your providers. They're not your answer. Your answer is, I will. I will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yeah. so that all these other things. See, you got to put other things out of your mind and out of your spirit. It's got to be nothing but Jehovah God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah said to you, Jehovah. Amen. Rafa, you need a healer. 
Not physically, but spiritually, you need a healer. And God's got the angel of the Lord is here tonight to bring Jehovah Rapha to heal your spirit. You, you are rehashing it and rehashing it. And you talk about it. Can I tell you? The talk's over. It's get in or get out. A preacher don't say that to him. It's what the Lord told me to tell him. Sometimes some people just needs a kick in the back end. They need a spiritual boost. Hello? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You, you know the old saying. You went to the car dealer and then you, you done this and this and this. They talk you into buying all of these warranties. But your car is warranted for 60,000 miles. Why are you going to buy another warranty for $4,000 and pay another $50 a yeah. month on it? Have you heard the old cliche? Didn't you feel somebody kicking in the back in? Mm -hmm. Well, the angel is. And the angel said, today is today. Yes. If you will. Thank you, Jesus. If you will. Thank you, Jesus. Cut all the ties. There's the knife. Yes. That you'll cut all the ties, all the soulish ties. There goes the angel of God. There goes the angel of God right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I bind all these soulish ties that they're gone forever. That they're gone forever. And tonight, Lord, even though he may be in the middle of a cat tin, Lord, you could put him right dab in the center where there's peace and glory and honor and that he can get victory. It's what you need. Amen. Victory. Victory in your soul. Say, I need, I need victory. In my soul. In my, soul. In my, spirit. In my spirit. Lord, heal me tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready yeah. to swim in the waters. Yeah. To be healed. Yeah. Yeah. Give the Lord a hand up. Thank you. Then the word says, He that dwelleth. Our home is where we dwell. But here the word says, He that dwelleth in the secret place. Sometimes, sister, you just got to get out by yourself away from menace and all the other stuff and get in that secret place of God just you and God he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow come here James cast the shadow under the shadow, here I am. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one. <laughs> we do need a move. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Yeah. My fortress. My God, yes, in Him will I amen. trust. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In other words, I'm in my dwelling place, my secret place with the Lord, and I will 
trust him. Why? Because Elamo Santiago Khan. Yes, Shondo no no bo say. He's my refuge, and not only my refuge, but he's my fortress. And when I'm there, there's nothing, yes. nothing yes. that can get to me. Think about it. My son's building a house for some people, and they got a safe room. The, re re the rebar steel is every eight inches. Block player going to have a nightmare. Laying all those blocks around that. I don't know if they're going to stare, 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 store all the money or what, it, but they call it a safe. Yeah. Going to have a concrete top on it. Yeah. A heat, a steel door. But I got something better than that. Amen. Yeah, that's right. I got that secret place. See, every eight inches, there's eight inches that something could penetrate. But then if I'm in that secret place with the Most High God, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God. Can you say that tonight? He's my God. Talking about my God. Come on. Talking about my God. In Him will I trust. One writer said, Some trust in horses, some in chariots, but I will trust in the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Go to the next verse. Y'all feel him? You feel him? It's like arrows. Just, just. God just filling people up. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. From the noisome pestilence. People whispering in your ear. Reports whispering in your ear. And if you're not careful, if you don't praise him, what happens is those whispers become louder in your spiritual man that the angels that we entertain. Mm -hmm. Moses on the backside of the mountain tending his father-in-law's sheep they weren't even his. Mm -hmm. He's in a place that he shouldn't have been. But then out of the burning bush, yes. the angel of the Lord spoke. And Moses said, I got to come a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. See, there's times in here, church, that God is moving and nobody's shouting. Nobody's raising their hands. But deep down in their spirit, they're crying out, Abba, yes. Father. Abba, Father. And God shows up. Then he says, he shall cover 
with his feathers. You so did, Sydney. You got chickens. You've had chickens. But when those chickens hatch out them little bitties, something comes around and spooks them. That mama, she goes to making that noise, doing that little of them. I remember my uncle, my uncle and my granddaddy and them had them chickens and she'd flog you to death if you went in there. I'm just coming to get the rest of the eggs. But she's saying, you come. And then she'd make a certain noise and all of a sudden she'd raise them wings and she'd sit down over those little babies yeah. daring you to come in that fence. I wasn't stupid. <laughs> I've been flogged by them before, Charlie. But that's the way God does. Yeah. He sets down over us. He becomes mm -hmm. under His wings. Thou shalt trust yeah. His truth. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah. In other words, His shield, His word, and yeah. you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen. The word is powerful. The word is Almighty God. In the beginning was God. What did Paul say? Take it a shield of faith and quit it every fiery dart. Yes. Somebody ain't getting it. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to slap you silly. <laughs> Let me get y'all's attention. <laughs> See, some of you there raised up and said, Come on. <laughs> See, some of us, spiritually speaking, we need to be slap silly. Amen. Because here's, he said, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Go to the next one. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare and the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings. Hello? His truth shall be our shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. nor for the pestilence or sicknesses or diseases that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yes. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Yes. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any Amen. plague Amen. come to yes. thy dwelling. I receive that tonight, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, any sickness or disease, any pestilence that has invaded the people here or those that are home, those that are watching, I bind it and I command it in the name of Jesus. Come out! Yes. Go to the next one. Oh. Wow. Wow.
I need about four different people to stand up. One read it and another one just pick up right after they quit. Maybe everybody might read it. Oh, he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all thy ways. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. Only heard two people. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Now everybody just read. And how many ways? All thy ways. How many ways? All. Who's going to give his angels charge? He shall. Then, and also in Psalms, I think it may be Psalms 34, that he says that he, his angels, will then count. Yes. Round about us. Yes. yes. Right. Now look at this. I got Psalms 23. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow thee. Yes. Come on. You, you are, yes. Come on. Your, your goodness and mercy. All right. I got goodness and mercy. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Then I got the Lord in front of me. Yes. Then he says, I got the angels. Come on, you're going, we're going that way. I got angels. Come on. Come on, Sydney. You be an angel. Come on, Colt, be an angel. I got them in cap round about me. Now, Amen. here I am behind Jesus, goodness and mercy following me. Mm -hmm. Then I got angels. One of y'all gonna have to just circle around us all the time. They encamp round about us. Yes. Then I got an angel right here that says. I've been given charge over them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. What did the prophet pray? Lord, let my servants see that there's more with us than that against us. And hey, hey, oh, thank you, Lord. Then, uh, yes, thank you. Then, then there's another place that one angel went out into the Assyrians' camp and killed 145. The next morning, the Bible says that they come upon them and they found dead corpses. Yep, amen. That's what the word said. Dead corpses. Yep. That was my enemy. Why? Because I got angels in charge yes. around the body. I got angels in camp. Come here, James. I need an encounter. That, yeah. All right, here we are. Yeah. This is me. This is you. Yeah. Just keep going this way. Yeah. You're, you're, you're giving charge over me. I got goodness and mercy following me. I got angels. And if something gets in the way, something gets in the way, here comes, here comes an angel. Takes him. Takes the blood of the Anything that would get past Jesus, here's my angel. Then here's my goodness, and here's my mercy. I can't hear nobody. See, you think you got problems? We ain't got no problem. We got Jesus, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, going for power for us. We got an angel giving charge over us. We got angels in count round about us. Then we got goodness and mercy shall follow me and shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will, I will, somebody shout, I will. Wherever I go, angels come. Yeah. Wherever I go, Jesus is leading. Yes. 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 And there again, he steps in the way. Now just take the shield of faith, goodness and mercy. Then I got angels giving charge over me. Come on. Come on. I got goodness and mercy. You say, well, well, preacher, that's crazy. No, it's not. That's what it says. If that ain't true, y'all go home, don't never come back. We'll sell the property. 
But let me tell you, you won't have to sell it because it's true. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You won't have to think about selling it. Why? Because it's true. Yes, it is. Yes. You don't have to think about it. Will God do this for me? Yes. If we're seeking ye first the kingdom of his yes. kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all of these things, everything that I need, everything that you need, everything that we think we need may not be what we need. Now, I just bust some of y'all's little bubble. But see, wherever I go, that goodness and mercy. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Open it up for the crowd. Y'all pray for Jesus. You got to start on. Come on. Y'all stepping up something. See, if the, if the devil, Lucifer, the fallen angel, comes after me, he got to get through them angels. Then he got to get through goodness and mercy yes. before he can get to me. But before then, I got this angel charge over me, so he's going <laughs> to. Amen. Then I got Jesus, and all he has to do is blink an eye, raise a thumb there. Yeah. Amen. And the devil has to. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. When we get to heaven, we're going to look and say, that, that's what bothered me? That little pimp squeak? That's what Scripture says. He does. He does. Says that all the nations will look at him and say, this is who, this is what we dealt with? Paraphrasing, but How? I can't fathom. How an angel, a cherub, they call him. Morning star, they call him. That he would get to the place. See, if he wanted a trumpet, he just, he was the trumpet. He led praise and worship, and he seen what happened when they praised and worshiped the Most High God, that God's glory just all oh. Sin entered in before Adam was ever created. Read the book. How did Jesus see him fall from heaven like lightning? He hadn't even died yet. In other words, he said, Luke 10 and 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on the scorpions over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why? I got goodness and mercy. I got my angel capped round about me. I got Jesus going in front of me. And I got angels that are giving charge over me. That wherever I'm going, come on, Greg, come here, come, come here. See, that angel that's sitting capped round about me, he comes and says, come on, come this way, come this way. And goodness and mercy can't do nothing but follow me. Hello? Amen. Talk about an entourage. <laughs> I got an entourage. And you do too. Right. Because wherever you go, Amen. Where he leads, I will follow. Are you following? Are you allowing goodness and mercy to follow you? Are you allowing your angels? that have been given charge over you, that angel that's in count round about you, are you allowing Jesus to lead the way? Because here's what he said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no, my, no man cometh unto the Father but through me. Can't get to the Father unless you go through Jesus. That's the reason... 
the world doesn't want you to say Jesus. They'll let you say God because God could mean anything to them. But you say Jesus, they say He's too inconclusive. They say the word is too racial. The word is for every race. Christ is for every man, woman, and child that's ever born upon the face of this earth. So Dennis, what's your problem? You got the Son of God. In front of you, you got an angel charge over you. I got two angels in count round about me, but there may be more. And then I got following me. Goodness. God's been nothing but good yes, to me. That's right, that's right. Tell yourself, God's been nothing but good to me. Then I got mercy. Tomorrow morning when we get up, we're all going to need new mercy starting all over again. I will. I'll praise Him at all times. You, de you defeat the devil by praise and by the blood of the Lamb. When he's trying to hammer you with this or that and you say praise the Lord anyway, it just melts. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Paul said, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. Amen. I'll admit, there's times that it's hard to muster up a praise. Some of y'all you understand? Yes. But praise is our weapon of yes, defense. It yes, it is. Praise is our shield of faith. Yes. Praise summons these angels to come. Praise summons goodness and mercy to surround me. Praise summons Christ to come. Amen. 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 And my angel that's been given charge over me. I will bless the Lord. Yes. I will. Yes, amen. Just tell yourself, I will. I will. I will. I will. Yes. No, tell yourself again. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Yes. No. Yes. Say, yes. come on now. I will. I will. I will. Come on, hard headed dickhead. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I will. I will. There's been times that it's just, it's just, it's just, but you get out, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Then all of a sudden, this power of God, come on. Amen. Jesus. 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 Jesus is there, and Jesus summons the angels, goodness and mercy, and there I am. In his shadow. Yes, yes. Under his wings. Amen. My thank shield you, and my buckler. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank A thousand you. shall fall. Ten thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it shall not come nigh thee. Yes, Why? Amen. I got all of this. Yes, amen. Surrounded. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We got all of that thank surrounding yes. us. Yes. yes. Now here, here. People ask me, well, why do you do all those crazy things? I don't think it's crazy. No, no. Because sometimes when you do this, it makes, it makes an impression in yes, your spirit. Yes, yes. That when you're going through 
Yeah. Yep. Well, I remember what that crazy old preacher did. Yep, that's right. He got me up and told me I was an angel. Yep. Said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Mm -hmm. Angels didn't count round yeah. about me. Yeah. And Jesus is going before yes, me. Yeah. So I will. Yes, Come on, yeah. raise your hand. I will. I will. Yes. I will. Yes. I will. I will. I will. Somebody shout. I will. Thank y'all for helping me out. Helping the Lord out. I pray that all of God's goodness and mercy will come to you. And all the blessings of God will be showered upon you. And I pray that you'll be tentative to the your ears will be tentative to listening to the angels. Sing. Hear my Lord. Hear my Lord. You may say, Eloise. Hear my Lord. He could call. Just look around, call out somebody's name. You're the angel now. Just... Come on. I ain't heard everybody's name. Just keep naming all of them. Just sing You've been given golden nuggets tonight to help you through the rest of your life. Yeah. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Ah, there that word again. Go there, Tyler. I'm, I'm trying to close you. I'm 11 minutes past. Who's counting time? None of y'all getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, so. Some of y'all won't roll over till 8, 9, 10. How many? No, I'm not going to ask you to show up How many sleeps to that thing? I wake up, I got to get up. If I lay there, I toss and turn. So I figure, just get up. My granddaddy used to say, early bird gets the worm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but the Lord <laughs> is my shepherd. Yes, I shall not want. Yes. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the steel. Everybody just take your hands and just say, peace, peace. There's a roaring in your family, in your home, in your spirit. Peace. 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 I command it in the name of Jesus. Peace. Peace. Go to the next one. He restored. What did Joel 2.25 says? I will restore the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, the grasshopper. When all those worms got through, there was nothing left. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. 
But God said, I will restore Hallelujah. the years. Yes. Shoot up your hand if you need some years restored. God, restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path. Oh, he love us sometimes. Four people right now. You're on that path and it seems like nothing's working, nothing's happening. But if you'll stand right now, could be more than four, but I see four people right now. I see your silhouette. I, I see you. I, I'm not turning around. I don't want to see anybody, but I'm just telling you. Whether, whether you feel it or whether you don't, I, I would stand if it was me. I just see God coming down that path. Looking way down. Looking way down. What's that? Sister Beavers, what's that painting? Tom, Thomas King King. Where Jesus is coming down with the prayer. Garden of prayer. Garden of prayer. That's it. Man, I've seen that so many times I should know it. But there comes Jesus down that path. There comes, come on, close your eyes. You better see it spiritually. There comes Jesus down that path. And he's coming toward you. He's coming toward you. And the closer he gets, Come on, the closer he gets, the more peace you feel. Come on, there he comes. He's coming down that path. He's coming down that path. Going to meet you in the garden of prayer. He's going to meet you right there. And he's going to bring restoration. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Go to the next one, Tyler. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest, come on, there's where your cup should have run over right there. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. The surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Come on, be rest, be restored right now in your spirit, in your body, in your mind, in every area. Ah, yes. oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, I will. I will. You can be seated if you can. Oh, my God, my God. Wow. I can just see it. Who's that coming down that rescue road? Have you ever seen that painting of Thomas Kincaid, Prayer Garden? And way back in the distance, that path reveals Jesus coming down to meet you in that place of prayer. Coming to restore. Go to Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I'm, 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 I'm going to quit, I'm telling you. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worm. And the caterpillar. And the, caterpillar and the, pommel, worm. And the pommel worm. My great army which I sent among you. You ever, you ever seen, I've I seen, what's them plants? We got daffodils, dahlias or something. They're red, yellow, and white. I've seen some of those caterpillars on them. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen them. I meant to go get some spray and kill them things. No. Why? Well, the time I get back, they may have eaten all the leaves off of my plants. And then when the caliper gets through, here comes the palmer worm. Just gnawing. You ever had that? Just something gnawing on you. That's the way the devil likes to do it. It's like something. Come just. Just gnaw. He said, that's a pretty That happened today. See, you never know what God is up to. He said that happened today. But God showed up tonight. Somebody give the Lord a hand. If our ushers can, if y'all can withstand the goodness of the Lord and just give in to it. So your seed is what's gone. Just what's gone. Just what's gone. Somebody say just what's gone. Just what's gone. When you think he's coming this way, he comes a different way. When you think he's going to meet your need this way, he'll take a shortcut and get it to you. And I, I heard some of y'all say, Lord, I need you to take that shortcut. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Well, God can do it. You believe it? Amen. So, Lord, as we sow into your kingdom, yes. seeking you, Lord, and your righteousness, you said all these things. Lord, you see every person in here, those that are watching, those that will be watching in a later day. Lord, you see our need. You said you'd supply all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Do you know heaven is not bankrupt? That's right. Heaven doesn't work off the world system of whether the interest rate goes up or down. It doesn't work off the economy of the world whether the gas goes up or whether it comes down. I seen where Exxon, Exxon was making two million nine hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars a second. That's my money. They take it. That's your money. They take a second, not a day. There's sixty seconds in a minute. Didn't you add up? How many seconds in a 24 hour period? Hello? So, Lord, <clears throat> sorry, Nat. I had to tire that Nat time around. And the Lord took him home. <laughs> Go ahead, brothers. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. I can relate to everything you said. About 3.30 yesterday, yesterday morning I woke up, so I turned on, I watched an old video from a couple of years ago. And um, anyway, so I just started praising the Lord and calling out to Calling up to the Lord, and I had a Holy Ghost meeting right in my bedroom. Yeah. I'm telling you, if somebody had come by my house, they would have wondered what was going on because I was not quiet. I mean, I was just calling out to the Lord, and the Holy Ghost was just speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking. And 
So when I looked at the quote, it was about four, like 14 or something. So I just thank you. I just thank you for how he's always with you. Yes, yes. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. find you that secret place. And I encourage you to find that secret place, whether in your home or somewhere. Right. Amen. But you just you just gotta get along with God. Amen. Everybody say, I gotta get along with God. God. Just to see what he's going to do next. Amen. 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 Any announcements? We got through the backpack. Everybody survived. I heard Everglades went good. Seminole went very good. I got home and I told Scott to say, this just seemed way too easy this year. But everybody was blessed. Seminole, um, the principal, she came around, met with me, and um, very, very appreciative. Parents appreciative. Just everybody had a really good attitude, and um, the uh, principal told me, she's like, I believe in your being going to be back next year and the year after and the year after. Yeah. yeah. We pray that so, the Lord would just amen. move on people just to give. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We said, we've sown the seed. Amen. amen. That's right. Not only financially, but spiritually. Yeah. Yes. There's a prayer cloth in every one of those kids' yeah. backpack. Yeah. Even, even Charlie, if they find them and take them out, wonder what it is. I believe in the Spirit of God. The anointing right. is going to touch right. that thing. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 I seen some of them little kids. They pick out the one they want, and immediately they put it on the back. But then when they got over there to the sauce. And the tooth, bro, I started to say shoes. Maybe we give shoes out next year. <laughs> and the toothbrushes. Amen. They open, take that backpack off and they stick it inside yeah. there. Yeah. And older brothers and sisters want to look at it and they, they ain't letting nobody. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody getting my toothbrush. Brother Davis, I seen one little girl about that high. She got her backpack on. And the backpack was bigger than what we were going for. <laughs> Just it around. There were some big first graders. I mean, kids as tall as, I'm thinking, they're going to fourth grade. They come over, first grade. I said, go see that man right there. But thanks be unto God. Pray for our schools. Pray for our children. When they when did y'all go? They went back today. They went back today. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Leave. Did you go, Abby? She starts back Monday. Yours go Monday. And Aiden got in trouble with twice already. Oh, oh, well. Wednesday. It'll work out. It'll work out. It'll get better. Sister Jovita. Grandson did, but he said it was it was real small. It was just small. It was real little. I ain't got in trouble talking over him. I'm gonna have to split them up. They did. I just wanted to thank the church for organizing blessing my daughter with her school supplies and clothing and stuff. It was a big blessing for our family. She was really excited to go through everything. She couldn't wait till we get home. And I just want to thank thank the church and thank thank God for always providing my needs. I really appreciate it. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout praise the Lord, right?